time of the year, and I'm so glad that I get to experience it with you this season because there's so many fun things to do in the Michiana area, and we are going to kick it off at a corn maze in Shipshawana that is not one, two, three, four, five, six, but seven miles long. So here we go. I should have worn my walking shoes, but what do you get from a girl from Brooklyn? Eh, let's go. Gary, I am so excited to be here in this corn maze. You know, I'm from Brooklyn. I ain't never seen anything like this before. Oh, wow. You know? Welcome. But I hear it's about seven miles long Correct. altogether. Correct. Yeah. Yes. So I know the corn maze has been here for two years. What's really special about this year? Oh, the bicentennial theme is pretty exciting to celebrate our 200th year birthday. And it's amazing how many people come through and wonder, what's the bicentennial? What's that about? And yeah, and just gives an appreciation for what our forefathers did for us, I guess. Yes, absolutely. And this is what it looks like. Is this an aerial yes, view right of the have, maze? We have an aerial view of the maze right here. And we do have like the old courthouse. Mm -hmm. And then we have the new courthouse in here. Then the state of Indiana, the name. And then we have a bridge there where you can go up a little bit and have a aerial view. Then we have the locomotive, a train. And when you look, do a little research on trains, that were a very popular way of transportation. In the, in the state of Indiana. Mm -hmm. Then the Indianapolis 500 car, we can help but throw that in there yet. Wow, now I'm sure people ask you, how did you do this? Oh, this all started uh, like in the winter months. We sit down and we brainstorm a little bit and I, we have a great connection with the Vis Visitors Bureau here in town mm -hmm. and they give us insights a little bit and they suggested the bicentennial theme this year. And so I ran it past our, uh, our uh, maze people from Idaho that mm -hmm. come in and do this for us. And so we shoot them pictures and they say, well, the picture you sent should take, probably takes 50 acres and you don't want to go that elaborate. So then they, yeah. And mm -hmm. they've been doing it for 17 years now. Wow. And they're a family organization that travels the U.S. starting right after school's out until it starts. And they run about 120 mazes in 44 states, he said this year. That's incredible. Yeah, yes. That's great. Now with seven miles, uh, the corn maze is just, uh, that's so much to do already, but you have a lot of other activities here. Yes. Now I, I saw a hamster, kind of a hamster run. There's a petting zoo, right? Correct. Yes. And this weekend where they even brought a camel in that you can ride a, a camel? camel. Yeah. Does he take you through the corn maze? Uh, no. No, no. <laughs> no not, not through the corn maze. No. Right. Okay. Okay. Yes. Um, and then along the way, this is really cool because as you come through the corn maze, all of the guests mm -hmm. get these, you know, games. Mm -hmm. these games. Now, this is bicentennial trivia. Correct. How does this work when you're going through okay, the corn maze? Okay, like this is, we have two adult mazes. We call it the tr car maze and the mm -hmm. train maze. And then we have a, a small kitty maze, okay? And for the train maze, we have a number of questions at each of the checkpoints. And mm -hmm. you have checkpoint seven through 12 in the train maze. And then you have, there's a punch there. And then you choose which one you think is the most correct one. Mm -hmm. And then we have, when you come out of the maze, we have staff there to calculate it, and whoever gets the best scores gets a free token to shoot the corn cannon gun. Oh, the corn cannon gun, what's oh, that? Yeah. Oh, I'll show that. To oh, you. okay, we'll get to fun. see the corn cannon gun. Yes. And then you said also along the checkpoints, you've got some wonderful sponsors, correct. but also some treats that you can get along the oh, way. Oh, yes. As you go along the way, we'll have a total of 12 checkpoints throughout the maze. And each of these checkpoints, we have sponsors from different businesses and majority of them are offering coupons. And yeah, that's been the beauty of ships you want them for you. Mm -hmm. and, uh, yeah. So you want to make sure that you punch your card at the checkpoint, and then you can take this to the place of business to redeem the coupons. Right. Wow. I definitely want to get that pretzel. Oh, one. <laughs> yeah. JoJo's pretzel. That's, a, that's my favorite one. So what days are you open, and what are your hours? OK. We're open Friday and Saturdays. 3 to 10 on Friday and 10 to 10 on Saturdays. 10 o'clock at night? Oh, yeah. You can go through the maze? Oh, yeah. Ooh, that must be a little spooky. Oh, no. It's no, no, it's not. No, Just, no. no. You have flashlights. And, okay. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm getting, I'm ready to go through the maze, but I, I want to tell you, Gary, I'm a little directionally challenged. Those oh. that work with me know that about me. So I'm not going to get lost in the oh, corn no. maze, or am I? No, no, no. It's very simple. All you got to do is just follow the lines. You know, right here. Okay. You know, we have checkpoint one through six in the car maze. And then you have checkpoint seven through 12 in the chain, in the train maze. And the biggest thing is to remember is to follow the lines. Just follow the lines. Not the spacing. You know, normally when you do a, a maze on a piece of paper, you know, you go in between the lines. Right. Oh my, you get, 
you'll get lost. I'll very get quick. lost. <laughs> but yeah, you just gotta follow the lines. Okay, just follow the lines. Yep, that's okay. It. Very important. All right, Gary. Well, I'm gonna follow the lines. I'll take this map yes. and, and I'll see you in just a little bit. Okay. Awesome. Follow the lines. Just welcome right to here. Welcome to Shipshawana Corn Maze, and you're okay. welcome to have a pen. Oh, uh, let me take a pen. So you can trace. All and right. then if you want to win $100, you can also fill out this and put that in the jar. We're going to have five drawings at the end of the season. All You're right. About it. Okay, I'll, all right, I'll be back. All right, follow the lines. Is this north or south? This way here, right? That way is north. Oh, oh, wrong. Okay, I'm following. Right? Yep, yep. Just follow the line. Follow the line. I Kelsey? Kelsey? I, I don't remember if I turned right or left or you know what? I'm just gonna call this maze hotline because I don't think I know where I am anymore and I just feel lost and so anyway, they'll come get me. Hello Gary? Hey, it's Kelly. Yeah, remember we just did the interview together? Yeah, well, I was following the lines and I, I'm not exactly sure where I am right now. So can you come get me? Okay, all right, just wait right here. Okay, I'm gonna wait right here for you. All right, you're on your way though, right? Coming right now? Okay, all right, all right. So I'll just wait, he's coming. Just lost in a corn maze from Brooklyn. Ever lost in a corn maze before, but I'll just wait. Thank you so much, Gary. We had so much fun at the corn maze. And thank you, India. India was hanging with me. Did you see us in the hamster thing? And, you know, I miss Rick a lot, but I just want to say that did you see Jim the camel? Did you see that pose he did? Did you see how he, he took doing? those pictures? I think I might have another co host if Rick doesn't get better soon. Not to, not, Rick, I know you're watching, not to stretch you out, but you better hurry up and get better because Jim could make a great co host. Well, another great event that is coming up on Saturday, October 8th, is the chili cook-off. So here's some chili, because it's chili out.